Hey, you like 3D printing, don't you? I mean, that's why you're here. Well, if it's really going to succeed, if it's really going to take off, it might need your help. Hey everybody, it's Joe, the 3D printing professor, and I, I want to start a discussion, start a, a dialogue about something that I've been thinking about for a while, and, and I've been trying to decide how to discuss it. Now, I want to be clear about a couple of things here. First of all, uh, I'm not trying to offend anybody. I'm not trying to put anybody off. I'm just trying to have a conversation, and I'm also not impartial in this subject. You're going to discover very quickly that I've got some skin in this game and I, I would really like to see things go a certain way that would work well for me. But that doesn't mean that it has to work well just for me. It could benefit a lot of people, I think, I hope. That's why I'm opening up this dialogue. There's actually two parts to this discussion and the other part is being covered by my buddy Garrett at Chaos Core Tech. So go to his channel, watch his video, and if you haven't already, subscribe to his channel because he does great things. But Garrett and I are both designers of 3D printing models. We like to make our models. We like to share them with other people. I know I get a thrill every time I see somebody who's downloaded a model that I made and then took the time and effort to put it through their 3D printer and make it real. It's such an incredible feeling and I love it. But it's strange to me that there's this persistent attitude that these 3D printers that we've spent hundreds of dollars on, that we've spent hundreds of dollars upgrading, but the 3D models for them, those should be free. They're just ones and zeros. We should never have to pay for them. And that doesn't make sense to me and in fact, that might very well be damaging to 3D printing as a whole. Now, I'm just going to briefly say yes, I recognize that releasing 3D models for free is what got us here. The free exchange of ideas, information, and especially 3D models, but plans and other things, is really what catapulted 3D printing from where it was to where it's been, but you might have noticed 3D printing is kind of stalled out recently. And it's possible that what we've seen is the booster rockets taking us as far into the atmosphere as they'll go, and it's time to, to let them go and adopt a new idea. Basically what I'm suggesting here is it's time to start paying for the 3D models that we make. A couple of points to this idea. Number one, there really is no such thing as free. Free comes in two flavors. We tend to discuss these as free as in beer and free as in speech, but a more academic way of looking at it would be gratis and libre. Gratis is your free as in beer. In other words, you don't pay any money for it. But even with free beer or free lunch, they still want you to come into their establishment. They want you to get used to going there. It's not really free. Somebody's paying for it and they're hoping to get something out of it. And even with 3D models, they're not free. When you download them, there's the Creative Commons license on there that allows you to use them. See my other videos about that subject, but it's not really free. There's no money exchange, that's true, but it's not really free, is it? Libre means that you can do anything you want with them, but even that, that's not real. You can't do anything you want with them. There's a Creative Commons license on them most of the time. They are controlled, and really, that's the way it should be. There's nothing wrong with that. But to say that they're free is a misnomer. Point number two, the 3D printing game is changing in a very real way. We are quickly reaching the race to the bottom. There's already a 3D printer that you can get for $200 that's reviewing extremely well online. I'm going to get one myself and just try it out and see how it works. I, I can't wait to get my hands on one. In fact, I'm going to get one of these in the hands of my parents. It's, it's, a, it's so cheap, it's almost silly not to get a 3D printer at this point. There's other 3D printers like the Toy Box, and even Mattel is entering with the Thing Maker. The game is absolutely changing, and 3D printers are getting into the hands of more people. People who are not tinkerers and are not designers. People who just want to be able to print stuff. And that leads me to point number three. When 3D printers get in the hands of people who are not designers, they are going to need designs to 3D print. And there are really good designers out there making 
potentially great designs that they're not releasing to the public and they're doing so with these lame excuses about control and things like that but those excuses would evaporate if they could get money from their models if there were a market so how do we fix this well we've got to change our habits as consumers of 3d print and 3d print models number one we've got to get off thingiverse thingiverse is the biggest problem to really taking off with the design market because they refuse to have a paid option for their model so you need to look other places for 3D printing models. Me, I always use Yegi whenever I'm looking for a model. And whenever I see one that's for sale, I don't hold back. I've already used paid models in my previous videos. I want to show an example of doing that for people. And I want you to kind of take that example to heart. If you see a 3D model that's exactly what you want, that's going to save you design time and, and uh, practice time, if it's tested and it really works, you really should say to the designer, hey, you should charge for that. And if there's the option to tip them or support them in some way, you should do so. And if you go out there and find a 3D model and it's for pay, then pay for it. But it's not exactly what I want, but I'm gonna have to tweak it. No, no, no. Don't let those things hold you back. In fact, I'm going to set this up as a challenge. I want you to go out and find a great 3D model that is for pay and buy it. Don't think, well, am I going to print this out or am I not? Do I really want to? I've got all these models already and I'm not printing. No, stop. Stop thinking about that. Treat it like you would a free model and just say, I'm going to get it. And if I never print it out, at least I've got it and support a designer. Make the market happen. We're going to have to force it a little bit. We need, we need designers to have success stories to say yes I, I had this great support from the community I had great things happen so that more designers will come again I know I'm being a little bit self-serving but I'm not saying buy model for me I don't even have that many models up for sale that are that great but there are people who do and you should support them designers like Dezing off and 3d shook which is a great website go check those websites out find something cool and just just pay a couple of dollars for it. Let's break ourselves of this habit, of this idea that 3D models should be free. Let's make a market happen so that we can get more designers, so that 3D printing can go from, from where it is now and really take off to where it's going. I see this happening. It's coming and it's gonna stall out again if we don't help it. And we've got to help it by putting our money where our mouth is. Now, maybe you disagree with me, maybe maybe I'm wrong. And if I am, please let me know in the comments. I really want to hear your thoughts on this subject. And go watch Garrett's video where he talks about the other half of this, trying to convince designers that they need to stop giving their models away for free. As always, I really appreciate your support. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.